Hi, this is Sean Bonley with IBM. I'm part of Advanced Technical Skills located out of Dallas, Texas. And I'm about to show how to define a backup repository disk to a PowerHA 712 cluster. Now, this particular feature is brand new in HA712 specifically. However, the base documentation on the subject is mostly lacking. So I've put this um, series of steps together. I'm actually not going to sit here and read them off because I'm going to perform these steps on my active cluster uh, to show you how to do it. And also while the, the cluster is synchronizing, then I will uh, explain more about the repository disk and the feature itself and how it works. So here are my cluster nodes. I'm just showing that the cluster is up and running and it's stable on 712 SP2. So I go to the main SMITI SysMirror or SMITI HACMP, either shortcut still works, menu, and choose the first option of cluster nodes and networks, manage repository disks, and then choose to add a repository disk. Now here I can do an F4 to get a listing, <clears throat> and what it actually does is does a scan of shared disks between all cluster nodes uh, based on the PVID and that it's not part of an existing volume group. So I'm just choosing the first one on the list here and hitting enter. Uh, this will actually populate uh, quite quickly, but as is the case with most cluster changes, uh, once you've made this change, you've also got to synchronize the cluster definition uh, for it to take effect. So uh, while this is running, I'm actually going to take the time to explain a little bit more about the cluster repository disk and this feature. Uh, first of all, the repository disk was a PowerHA version 7.1 uh, specific feature. There is only one repository disk. Uh, you cannot mirror or replicate a repository disk. Uh, so generally the repository disk is made highly available by having it part of a RAID storage uh, subsystem. Now if the storage subsystem or the disk itself is lost for any reason that is hosting the repository disk, you can choose to replace the disk which I'm, I'll actually show that as the next step. I won't actually finish executing it, but I'll show you how to do it. Um, but if you lose a repository disk in an active cluster, uh, it will not take your cluster down, nor does it prevent the cluster from continuing to operate. Uh, but you're in a very limited state uh, without the repository disk, meaning you can't make cluster uh, changes you don't be adding nodes, starting or stopping cluster services, or changing the cluster configuration if you've lost the repository disk. Uh, otherwise, if you lost the repository disk and a system fails, uh, a failover could and should still work uh, even without it. Now, the backup repository disk feature, what this is, is it's actually kind of pre-allocating a disk, saying, uh, I'm choosing a disk ahead of time that I want to use as a potential replacement for the repository disk. However, this is not a hot spare auto swap capability as shown today. If the repository disk fails, it does not automatically kick in and use the backup repository disk. You will get uh, event notifications, warnings logged in the HACMP, Dot out file, and then you can go through the procedure to replace it with a disk that you've already chosen. So I will show that uh, how to do that once the sync completes here. Okay, so the synchronization has completed, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to the other system and just run a command and show you the ODM file that gets populated on each node in the cluster. It's called HACMP call, 
And you can see we have this backup repository field populated with the PVID. So now back on the original system, if I had a repository disk that failed and I needed to replace it, well, since I've had a problem, I need to go to Problem Determination Tools, choose Replace the Primary Repository Disk, and then if I do an F4 and get my listing, there's the disk that I previously added for the backup BIM group. Now, I could actually complete this task by hitting Enter, but in my particular case, I haven't had a failed one, so there's not really a reason uh, to do that, but that is the procedure on how to replace it. So with that, I'm going to conclude this demonstration. As always, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions on this demo or any other demo that I have, uh, feel free to send me an email at sbodily at us.ibm.com. And as always, thanks for watching.